Hi everybody, my name is Miss Dyson and I'm your Children's Year 4 teacher. I will start this meeting right away by sharing my screen with you. So, welcome to Year 4 everyone. My name is Miss Dyson and I'm the person on the bottom left. And we've also got Miss Hudson who is in the bottom right. Um, yeah, a little bit about me. I'm from the Netherlands. I've been in the UK since almost four years. I've discovered my love for teaching whilst tra traveling in India. And this is my second year at St. George's. Homework. So every day the children will get maths homework, which will help them to revise their fluency skills, which will be something like division, multiplication, the times tables and number bonds. Weekly homework consists of mathematics, spelling and grammar, and at a later point also a bit of writing. We are going paperless at the moment just because of everything that's going on. So mathematics will be done online and the spelling homework the children keep, they don't have to bring it back to school. It's given out on a Friday and um, due back in on Monday when everything gets back to normal. But they need to do their mathematics, for example, over the weekend and have it finished by Monday. Um, I'll also hand out the passwords and all the logins um, by the end of this week. When it comes to spelling, I would suggest you use the look, cover, write, check method. So the children look at the words, they cover up the words, they write the words, and then they check the words. Um, yeah, make, the, make it fun, make it as fun as possible. If you have your own ways of how to teach them uh, these words, or if you want to play some games, for example, when you're cooking, you can just say, hey, can you please tell me how you spell this word? Just, just basically make it fun. Uh, spelling tests are on a Wednesday and this, their score will be recorded in their reading diary. Um, reading is very, very important. The children need to read at least 20 minutes every day and that needs to happen really every day. It's very important for the children to read. Um, topic homework will be given out for the holidays along with the knowledge organisers. So like I said before, mathematics uh, logins will be ho uh, sent home this week. Times tables, rock stars is very important as well. I'll come back to that in a minute, but um, the logins for that will be handed out this week as well. The story maps, so the children for English, they get these stories. Uh, usually these stories come with a story map and these need to be learned by heart at home. Uh, and the same counts for poems and class assembly uh, scripts. Um, in order for your child to become a superstar, they always need to complete their homework. They need to have a great attitude towards learning. They need to be on time in school. Their participation needs to be great. And most importantly, they need to, be, they need to work on themselves as well. PE, our PE day is on a Tuesday. Please make sure that your children are wearing the required PE kit. So the indoor PE kit is a plain white t-shirt, plain navy shorts and black plimsolls. Outdoor PE kit is a plain white t-shirt, plain navy tracksuit bottoms, trainers, plain navy sweatshirt or hoodie. So please make sure your children wear the required PE kit. Swimming. So there's now a national tracking system for swimming. So Every child needs to be able to swim 25 meters by the end of year six. Um, your children will be swimming this year. I don't know when yet, I will let you know, but it would be great if you could help us with this at home and just take your children swimming. Big thing is the times tables test at the end of year four. Um, at the end of year four, the children will get tested by the government. It will be 20 questions and each question will be six seconds. Um, they need to know all of the times tables by heart like this up to 12 times 12. So please practice whenever you can at home. Like, like I said before, practice in the car, practice while you're cooking, practice while you walk to school, practice when you go home, whenever you can. Um, their times table, they have a weekly times tables test and a chance to get into the one for four club once a week, uh, also on a Wednesday. We do the times tables test in the morning and the one for four in the afternoon. 
English. So this, uh, this, uh, in in this, oh, um, sorry, in this term, we are going to learn more about the finger eater, and that is also our book. And if you want, you can go to the library and find some similar books um, or books by the same author. The children will have a bookmark in the back of their books, which just which will help them with their writing. For example, what kind of punctuation to use and that they shouldn't forget capital letters, all of these things. Maths, like I said, the key skills for the year group are times tables. Please make sure you practice the times tables with the children at all times. They can log, in to, log on to times, times table rockstars. And then there's a little tab at the top of the website which says sound check and that just resembles what the test is going to be like next year. So it's a test with 20 questions and each of the questions uh, is six seconds long. Um, very important is uh, for your children to learn how to tell the time. So to do it on an analog clock but also on a digital clock. The children need to learn how to do long division, multiplication, adding subtraction, subtraction and rounding as well. Um, this term we are doing ancient Rome, so the children will learn how life back in Rome was, how Roman society was built and what, how the location of Rome was a strategically great location. Trips and visits, due to the current circumstances, there won't be any trips at the moment. Parents evening will be on the 14th and on the 15th of October. More details will be given nearer to the time and you will be able to sign up for parents evening um, via the school app. So the link is this one, which I've got here on my screen. Your email address and the mobile number are needed in order to log in. So yes, I'm very much looking forward to teach your children. Um, I hope I can see you on the playground, get to meet a uh, playground, get to meet you all. If there's anything you want to talk to me about, please make an appointment for after school just because when I dismiss the children at the end of the day, I need to make sure that I'll do this properly and I don't send a child with the wrong parent or anything. And in the mornings, I'm usually quite busy as well. But please, I'm very, very happy to speak to you. Just let me know in advance. Thank you. Ooh, how do I turn this off?